Hi, my name is Morgan Owens. I am a serial entrepreneur and you're watching Profiles on the CincinnatiHerald.com. So who I am is I call myself a serial entrepreneur. I have two businesses, Kirby Cardio and the Morgan Angelique brand, Morgan A. Owens brand. And I'm also a corporate cutie. I still have my corporate job. Primarily what I do is empower women, especially mon uh, minorities, to level up in their careers and their business aspirations. So Curvy Cardio is a fitness brand. There is classes a couple of days a week at the North Avondale Rec Center. We have a retail line, Fashionably Fit, that has empowerment sayings like killing it for the crop top, confident in my curves, sweat pretty. We are also in an after school program teaching young girls the importance of having a healthy body image and self esteem. So we work through K through sixth grade girls. On my personal brand, the Morgan A. Owens brand, I help entrepreneurs as well as women in business that want to further up their careers or their businesses through marketing, branding, social media help, networking, how to effectively goal set, plan. So that's primarily what I do for both of the businesses, um, both with the theme of empowering women to level up um, in their careers and their businesses. Um, I never thought I would be an entrepreneur. I had aspirations just to climb the corporate ladder. Um, I have a background where you know I went to predominantly all white schools. So I developed a complex in middle school, high school, where I had to deal with my own self-esteem issues, body issues. You know, there wasn't a lot of people that looked like me in school or the college I went to. And then, you know, essentially, you know, in the corporate world, there wasn't a lot of people that looked like me. So I had to get over, um, get over that internal struggle of ultimately, you know, loving myself. And ever since then, where I made the decision to love myself no matter what size I was, shape I was, my career and my business growth has really just taken off. So from Curvy Cardio, I wanted to be someone that other people could look up to as an instructor that has, you know, a average body type and also, you know, just um, someone that people could, like I said, look up to and not be the perfect size or shape. And that really led to my personal brand because I branded Curvy Cardio, I marketed it all by myself, and I wanted to essentially empower others to start their own business and how to properly do that through marketing and branding because that's an important vital piece not only for business but also in your career you know if you want a certain job you have to brand yourself properly you have to um, learn how to position yourself for a pivot whether it is career or your business so I took on a lot of um, a lot of experiences that would set me up for what I'm doing right now even though I didn't know it um, I always tell people younger than me, you know, right after college, you know, it's going to be hard right now, but the situation that you're in does not last for long. So take every opportunity, every advantage that you can just to learn from each of, you know, aspects of a job, whether it be working at a fast food place or retail. I worked retail for a while, you know, just learn every aspect that you can from all those jobs and one day apply it to a job that you really want to do or even your own business. So after, you know, working, working four jobs, I found, you know, my big girl job and I worked for Cincinnati State in their marketing department for three and a half years. And there, you know, I, re I really fell in love with, with marketing, with branding. I took the position because I could write well and I believe if you could write well, you can do anything. So especially being a creative writer, okay, like doing campaigns for, for you know, marketing, you know that was something that was fun and then social media you know when I started Wittenberg we were the first one of the first schools to be on Facebook so I kinda grew up with Facebook and so I was kind of you know well in tune with it and being the youngest person in that marketing department I got to run our social media account and grow it and just learn about strategy and content and how to position your content to gain followers so after three and a half years there I moved on to um, another corporate job as a digital editor and there I learned how to do more campaigns strategically but on a digital platform. So from then, you know, that was just when Curvy Cardio was kind of moving from a hustle to a business and so I 
created Curvy Cardio's website because I knew I needed to have a website to be a fully established business for people to take it seriously as a business and also a place where I could sell the retail line and take it not only, you know, bigger than Cincinnati because everyone sometimes thinks about locally, but how did I position my business to take me further outside of Cincinnati? So it's all about the e-commerce. So people from all over the United States has some curvy cardio apparel in their homes, even though they've never been to a curvy cardio class. So from there, you know, curvy cardio just had its three year anniversary and I wanted to do more, do something different. So I officially launched my personal brand. Like I said, helping other entrepreneurs brand their own business. How did I do it with curvy cardio? How did I let that business grow in the three years, but really the first year was a hustle, like I said. So really in two years, how did I take it from nothing into something now that's in an after school program, a retail line that is you know nationwide, uh, got a corporate healthcare sponsor, UC Health has partnered with Curvy Cardio. How did I get on publications like The Herald, Cincy Chic, Channel 5, you know, all in two years. You know, it's really grown and I'm really super proud of it, but I also have people along the way that were, you know, helped me, especially The Herald. The Herald is really a place where black entrepreneurs can really thrive and get their, their story heard. We don't have a lot of you know, exposure on other networks, so I really value the support that the Herald gives to a lot of um, black businesses, my, minority businesses that otherwise wouldn't be heard from. So with the personal brand, you know, it's really on the same level. It's not fitness, but it's more the business, so the business side, and at an affordable level, because I know what corporate charges for you know, marketing plans or branding plans or social media you know, strategic plans, but as a small business owner, you really can't afford that. And especially as a minority business owner, you don't know certain things that you should know that a lot of times people that aren't at the table aren't privy to that information or other people don't share. So I have, you know, stepped up as someone who wants to help others and in turn that in turn helps me grow as a business owner. So that was a lot. No, that's what's up. <laughs> I was used to working four jobs. I was used to having multiple paychecks coming in to support myself. And when I got my first salary job, I had a lot of time on my hands. So I was like, well, what do I want to do? So one of my friends had gifted one of my other friends a Zumba class for her wedding. And I was like, oh, I could do this. You know, you can work out, you can get in shape and make extra money. So I did that for about two years. and. It, it kind of got you know burnt out and my uh, director at the rec was like well, why don't you just do your own thing so I started sharing you know my personal story my journey my before and after pictures and you know what really was meant for people to come it turned out to be a blessing because people would reach out to me and say well thank you for being so transparent you inspire me you inspire me when I get healthy I dealt with the same issues. I'm still de dealing with the same issues. I'm gonna start coming to your class because I feel that that's a safe space. And really it is. So, you know, do I like working out? I, I do, I really do. I love working out. I know I'm not like, but I'm not like a fitness like guru, like, oh, I have to do this, do this. But it's just the, it's like a therapy really. Four days a week, women can come and just be their authentic selves without any judgment you know, body shaming and just get healthy from the inside out, really. Um, when people start reaching out to me telling me how, you know, what a difference maker curvy cardio was for them, I said, wow, this could really be something. So I had to brand myself, I had to get gear, so I had to wear the shirts while I'm teaching, you know, just like other organizations, just like Zumba. I had to be like Zumba, but in my authentic voice, my authentic self. Like I, I say this all the time to people, your net worth is your network. You have to get out there, no matter how uncomfortable it is. You have to talk to people. You have to collaborate on the level of really just seeing what you can do for me and what I can do for you. And a lot of times, people have to break down those barriers. Oh, I'm not going to share my, my secret sauce with you. Or, oh, I don't know if I could do that. But really, you know, it ends you know, being a benefit for both of the businesses to see how they can help each other. So that's one thing that I had to learn is to, to step up, to speak out. And I've had a lot of mentors to push me into that uncomfortable zone. And it's turned out great. <laughs> it really has because you never know, first off, you never know who's in the room that could change your life. 
and oftentimes people make excuses about why they can't, why they don't want to come to this networking event or you know oh I don't know I don't like networking it feels so uncomfortable oh I don't want to do this oh can we just do this instead like no like you have to be in those situations you have to be in the room to be heard especially if you're an entrepreneur you know, you know, after a while, it just becomes second nature. I was like that. I was shy. I'm like, well, can you just talk to them for me? And they're like, no, this is your business. You have to be, you know, you are your brand. Branding is everything. It will take your business from here to here with the proper graphics, with the proper content, um, everything. You know, people are attracted to to what your your business look like, looks like, what you look like. Um, it just makes a difference and also like I said it sets you up for, for position to pivot your business to do other things like attract corporate sponsors bigger organizations bigger opportunities so that was number one two network like I said as a business owner you have to network you have to put your name out there my first year that I took my business seriously I was out there doing everything from being a vendor sponsoring events just out there everyone was gonna know what curvy cardio was who Morgan Owens was that's it and number three I would say to stay humble and to stay hungry you know I I've come a long way but I still have a lot to learn and there are people that are doing what I'm doing on a better level than me and I'm always willing to learn from them but I'm also willing to learn from people who also do the same thing as me and are on the same level because what your experience is different from mine and so we can learn from each other on those experiences yes we may have the same background education uh, we worked at the same job but what you bring to the table is totally different than what I than what do I bring to the table definitely get a mentor um, get a mentor that looks like you who has been in your company or that is doing you know our business owner if you're an entrepreneur and seek out their advice you know on what to do how to uh, navigate through the corporate world but like I said never lose who you are over a job you have to keep that self-care piece you know it's okay to take a mental health day that's what sick days are for you know you have to keep your peace Oftentimes we have to manage our managers and that applies to the real world as well. You know, we have all types of people that come at us. You know, you have to protect your energies. I say that all the time. You know, what another person does to you negatively, that's their problem, not yours. There's resources to, you know, reach out to your employee relations if it's really getting to you. But like I said, just, you know, manage your managers learn from your mentors of how to navigate through the corporate world and stay your authentic self and take those self-care days. <laughs> That's what they're there for. Yeah, so if you need more information about any of my businesses, you can check them out at curvycardio.com for your fitness or morganaowens.com for workshops, master classes, the workbook, the subscription kit, and coming soon, the a professional pretty conference in the spring of 2018.